Hi! Hey you guys! Happy Saturday! Hey! I was up last year and I for TikTok. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hey friend! Are you back from vacation already? No, I haven't gone yet. I leave in 10 days. Praise be. I'm good, you goodness. I'm buying a new Juki. Oh, how exciting. What kind of Juki are you getting? I have the butterfly bag. Nice. I'm actually making a new butterfly bag on live right now. Hi. You got the month wrong? <clears throat> yeah, I'm leaving on the 11th. Hey! I know, I've been gone for a while. I had a little bit of some health stuff, but not much. It wasn't terrible. But then I just took a little bit of time to do a lot of restocking. No idea, I'm making butterfly belt bag. Any suggestions? I use for my uh, fanny packs uh, the Sally Tomato. It's called Ferris, F-E-R-R-I-S. I love that pattern. Hi, Wendy. Um, I'm going to show, this is the bag that I'm making. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever made this on live. This is my own pattern. I call it the Big B. Um, I only have one or two, I think, in stock. And so I have another one that I wanted to go ahead and make and add. Hey, I'm good. Oh, you mean for a machine? Um, I don't have a lot of experiences with different sewing machines. This is the 1181. I love it. It works for everything that I need. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, I use the Juki Exceed as my um, domestic sewing machine, and it's been pretty good. Still in my butterfly bag. Thanks. Okay, just mammy. So I'm just getting the uh, shoulder straps out of the way. I made one before I jump live, and then this is the other one. And then we'll get started on the bag. It's like super cloudy and rainy over here, so I figured, let me knock a couple of things out, and why not go live? Alright, so here are my shoulder straps for the bag. That's the front or back, whatever. Same. Okay, let me show you guys what we're working with. Alright, so this is going to be the interior fabric for the butterfly bag. And then this is going to be the exterior. So this is the bag that the style that we're sewing. This is going to be this top panel. There's going to be black on the bottom, just like this one is. And then the interior is going to be this really pretty butterfly print. So for one side of the interior, there is this slip pocket. I put that on with my domestic sewing machine only because this one's a little bit too rough on this material, even though it's cotton material and it's lined with SF 101. So on one side, we have this slip pocket. And then on the other side, we have a zipper pocket. Hey! And this bag, if you've seen me sew um, bags before, this bag is going to be sewn inside out. So we're going to turn it right side out through the zipper pocket. So I leave mine open. So that's the interior. This is the exterior. And then, of course, the bottoms. I line the bottom of mine with Peltex, the um, exterior vinyl, just to give it a little bit more stability, make it a little bit thicker. All right, so I'm gonna start with the interior. This bag has a um, magnetic closure. It doesn't get a zipper like most of my bags. So I use a piece of vinyl on the top of the interior panel just to give it a little bit more strength. Isn't it pretty? Oh. 
Okay, so I'm going to sew the top of it on like that, and then we're going to open it up and do a top stitch. Let me go ahead and set up the other one too. I'm watching UFC in the background. The main event doesn't come on till one. So I figure I can watch a couple of the prelims while I'm sewing. Okay, same thing. We're gonna do right sides together and then we're going to sew them together. Open it up and do a top stitch right along the bottom edge of that black. Did you say I haven't made this one live before? No. Yes, it's new territory. Yep, I, this is the first time I've made this bag live. There's no pattern to it. I made this pattern quite a few years ago, maybe four years ago. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But I have added this to my growing list of patterns to get written and out just in case anybody needs a new, a new style bag to make. Okay, so here's the top stitch that I just did. This is the interior one side of it. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other side of the interior. I sew it on a three stitch length and then I do my top stitching on a five. this bag right here. It's a personal pattern. I'm just making sure it's folded down while I'm going so I catch that in my seam. This is what I'm talking about. I'm making sure this is folded up so it's caught in my seam. And this is what the other side looks like. All right, I'm gonna set that aside and then we're gonna work on the exterior. So this right here, the main print is this and then there's just a little pop of color on the bottom. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I just did. Sew them together, open it up and do a top stitch. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to line them up, clip them together. Put that aside, grab the other one. Hey, Jennifer. Exact same thing. I'm just going to do them both at the same time. Is that upside down? That side's not. Nope. open it up and then again do a top stitch right along the edge of this black. Oh thank you Larissa that's so nice for you to say.
little tricks of the trade. All right, I'm gonna grab the other one and do the same thing. Bonjour. <clears throat> I took French in high school. I think I can count to like three. Say hello. Thank you. I think that's it. My name is Jama Pels. Sorry, I think I missed some questions. Okay, so here is going to be one of the panels. It could be the front or the back. They're the exact same. Here's the other one. That's the top stitch that we just did. And then now what I'm going to do is measure, make sure that my interior and exterior are the exact same size. That one is. That one is. Okay, so we're good. So now I'm going to set the front and back panels aside. And I'm going to go ahead and make up the interior of the bag. So there's only three pieces for the interior. One side, the bottom, and the other side. So what I'm going to do is find the center of this panel. I'm just going to make a little mark on the back. And then I'm going to find the center of the bottom. I piece together some SF-101. I usually do that for my bottoms because why waste good SF-101? That's like probably the most expensive interfacing. I'm trying to think through. I think that's the most expensive interfacing. All right, so I marked the center. So I'm going to take the center of the bottom to the center of the panel, clip those together and then sew them on, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. How much does it cost you to make one bag? It depends. <clears throat> it depends. Um, I mean, each bag has, you know, different amount of fabric as well as a hardware, so it depends on the style of the bag. Okay, so the bottom is sewn on this side, and now what I'm going to do is take some scissors and I'm going to cut, so this seam allowance down here, I'm going to cut that same amount off of both of these sides. That way when I sew the sides together, they'll be nice and even. And I'll show you when we get to that part. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other panel. Center the panel and the bottom, clip those and then sew them. Oh, I didn't center this. I was like, where's my mark? I didn't do it yet. I must have a lot of bags are very beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Joyce. Okay. Clip that together. And then sew them down. You don't do top stitching for interior, for the interior lining. on. I'm going to do the same thing. Clip the bottoms. All right, so now what we're going to do, this is our interior panel. We're going to clip the sides together and then sew those down on both sides. I missed you. I love all the new stuff. Thanks. Yeah, I've been restocking a lot of sold-out stuff. And I know when I go live, I run my mouth, and it takes so long to make something. So I decided to take the last couple weeks off, stay off live, and get some work done.
All right, one more clip, then we're gonna sew them together. So this is what we're looking like so far. Those are the sides. We're gonna sew those down. So, yeah, this is my full-time job. It has been for like five years. Are you taking special orders yet? No, not yet. I go on vacation in about 10 days, and I'll be gone for a few weeks. And when I get back, I'm hoping to reopen custom orders. All right, so we have our sides sewn together. And then now what we're going to do is sew the sides down to the bottom and that's why i clipped off that little bit of extra material right here oh right here so that it will line up nicely with the bottom so i'm going to clip those down and sew them together and then our interior is done i just have to add the closure And then we're going to move on to the outside of the bag. <clears throat> Alright. So here's our interior. All made up. So we have the slip pocket on one side and then we have our zipper pocket on the other side. Let's see if I can do this backwards. And then again, we're leaving this open. We're gonna sew this bag inside out. So what we're going to do is come through here to pull the bag right side out once we're done. So let me add the closure to the center. I'm just gonna find my halfway point. Make sure my panels are lined up. Okay. So this is secured with a magnetic snap. So I'm just going to... right here I'm going to poke through with my seam ripper and then install my um, magnetic snaps we have somebody here to fix the back door yeah I know she's going crazy right all right so I'm gonna put one on one side put the back on it And then put the other one. Add the back. I tuck the bottom of this underneath that seam. So I tuck the bottom right underneath that seam. And then now this is our um, closure, a magnetic snap. All right, so now what I'm going to do, this is going to be the inside lining of the bag. I am going to open up the seam and I'm going to sew that down because when we put this inside the outside, we're going to sew all the way around both layers. So I wanna make sure that my seam is nice and open and flat when I do sew it together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep that. on both side seams. Just like that. Now the seam is nice and open and this is going to be flat when I add the exterior and sew them together.
How much are your bags? I can't give prices on live, but they're all on my website, butterbags.com. My website's also linked in my TikTok profile. All right, so our interior is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside, and then we're gonna work on the exterior, which there's only a couple more steps. This bag comes together so fast. We're going to add the shoulder strap connectors. So here are shoulder straps. They're connected to the bag right here. So I'm gonna prep those and then attach those to the front and the back panel. And then I think that's it. We're just gonna sew the bag together just like we did the, the interior. Add the bottom, close the sides, sew the sides to the bottom. And then we're gonna add the interior to the exterior, open it up, do a top stitch, and that's it. Just add the handles. That's another reason why I really want to get a pattern out to you guys for this bag because it's it's a nice big bag and it comes together so quickly. So you can kind of tell the difference. That's the Lola and that is the Big B and that is the Becca, which is a nice size bag too, but this one is a little bit bigger. Do you trademark? Oh, I missed your question. Hey, Barbara. All right, so I'm just prepping the shoulder strap connectors. Doing this will give us a nice finished edge on the bottom so there's no raw edge. So this is what it looks like. And what that's going to allow me to do is fold this down so that way there's no raw edge on our shoulder strap connectors right here. It's going to be seamless. All right, so we're going to fold this all up. First, what I do is just add some double-sided tape. What kind of material am I using? This is um, vinyl or faux leather. So I'm just going to line it up. The tote bag looks huge. It's a really generous size tote bag. All right. Then I need a little bit more. This probably looks like an obscene amount of tape, but trust me, I need it all. The tape is double-sided tape. I get mine from Waywack, W-A-W-A-K. I'm going to take the tape off, and then we'll fold them up and get them on the hardware. Where have you been? I've been restocking sold-out stuff. I was saying um, earlier, I run my mouth so much on live, and it kind of slows me down. So I wanted to really restock a whole lot of stuff that's been sold out. So I decided to take a couple weeks off, get some work done. The one under the left, does it have an outside pocket? This one right here does not. This one right here, this is an outside pocket, this butterfly pattern. And then there's also one on the back of the bag, a slip pocket. All right, see I was talking and I didn't even tell you guys what I did. All right, so I fold up this bottom piece, which gives us the nice clean edge, and then I fold in one side, fold in the other side. I'm going to add a piece of double-sided tape on the bottom, add my hardware, take that tape off, fold this over, I leave about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and then that is our shoulder strap connectors and that gets sewn on the bag. Then I'm going to put another piece of double sided tape on the back. We're going to tape that to the panel and that way it won't shift or move. Uh oh, while well, I'm sewing it. <laughs> we enjoy our fun anyway. Do you sell your patterns? I only have one pattern for sale right now. I haven't had a chance to get pen to paper for any of the other ones. But I do have a passport pattern. It's this right here. That's on my website as well. All right, one more.
you make up all your patterns, I would probably say like half and half. Like, this is my pattern, this is my pattern, I bought this pattern, and then I bought this pattern. So I'd probably say like half and half. But I definitely do use other creators' patterns. Do you need an industrial strength machine to make your bags? Um, some bags you do, some bags you don't. Like this one right here, I can make this one on a regular domestic sewing machine. Alright, so here's the front panel of our bag. This is the bag that we're making. So now we're going to add the uh, shoulder strap attachments, which is right here, to the front and the back of the bag. So I'm just going to measure this out. Taking off the back of the tape. So that's why we need the tape. It's gonna hold those in place until they get sewn on. Same thing to the other side, and then we'll sew them down. You make it look so easy. I've been doing this for a really long time. I love the passport pattern. You made four already. Nice. Yeah, it's a really quick, fun pattern. So here is the other side. We're going to go ahead and sew those down. I'm going to use a four and a half stitch length. Are you using way wet thread? Yeah, it's from Guterman. It is Mara 70. <laughs> Butters. Hey, hey, hey. You are a lady. Butters. Alright, so when I come down, my sewing foot, my machine foot, is on top of this metal. So what I do is just tuck this underneath my foot. That way when we come off the metal, it's not going to scratch up my fabric. That is what it looks like stitched on. This little um, indentation and in the one on the bottom, it'll go away. It's just from the sewing foot. Oh, thanks, Angel. It's just practice. Literally anybody can do it. You need the tools and the practice. And of course, the desire. All right, this panel is done. That is the other one stitched on. I'm gonna set this aside and then we're going to do this one. These are some big panels. It's a pretty nice size bag. Like I said earlier, I think this is probably one of my biggest, if not my biggest bag that I make. I'm pretty sure it is. Butters. It's crazy. All 
All right, last one. other panel that is what they look like stitched on I'm gonna add my name tape <clears throat> Cutting everything right, so I needed to cut this, 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 the bottom, the inside, the inner facing, the shoulder straps, the bottom for the inside, the um, inner facing. So, like, if you're talking about like from start, like cutting all the pieces to finish, I'd probably say like an hour. Yeah, you could probably get it done in an hour. All right, I'm just going to measure right in between my two shoulder straps and then um, center this. And I just make a couple marks. Use my seam ripper to poke some holes and then install it. Well, it would take me a week or more. I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward, easy pattern. All right, put the back. Use my old trusty, dusty butter knife. So this is the front panel. On the wall, your bag is a different spot. Your bag is in a different spot on the wall. I'm not sure what you're saying. I had a bad batch of name plates before, but I haven't seen any of that. Yeah, well, I haven't been live lately either. <laughs> I have had some, and I reached out to the manufacturer, and he's going to be redoing them for me. Well, not all of them, but just the ones that are messed up. So I'm mar marking the center of my panel, and then I'm going to mark the center of my bottom. And then, of course, just put those two together and then sew them. I love the horse bag. Thanks. Thank you. Here. Can, tell can anyone tell me if we're back? Yeah, I'm feeling good. All right, so I'm going to line up those center marks. Oh, she noticed the nameplate on the bottom of the shelf. Oh, oh, I think. Oh, okay. Now I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I went rogue. This bag I've never done before. <clears throat> so, like, when I duplicate this bag, I'll make sure that the label is on the bottom. But whenever I'm doing, like, a new print in a different style or a new style for the first time, I just do whatever happens. I don't even think about it. So like from going forward, this bag will always have a name tape up there so that I can just duplicate it and not have to take photos again. But it's just whatever happens. All right, so the bottom is still on. Again, I'm going to cut off. The same amount of seam allowance, I'm going to cut that off on both of my, my uh, panels, which will allow the bottom and the sides to come together perfectly once we sew them up. Most patterns have your panel pre-cut like this. It's just easier for me to cut a big old square instead of the panels. On the chicken, it looks nice on the bottom, yeah. I just wasn't paying attention. Most of my bags I put like that tags right there, the tags up there. There's no rhyme or reason why I put the, the that one. So this one's actually out of the ordinary on the bottom. 
but you're right. I think it may have been because it's a solid color, so you can see the tag better. I don't know. All right, so the bottom is out on. I did a top stitch. We're going to add the bottom to the back panel. I got to mark my center. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. Sew it on and top stitch that bottom. Do you change the thread color at all? Yeah, I do. Depending on, um, so like this bag, we're using black vinyl, so I'm using black thread. This one was tan, so I used tan thread. This one was pink, I used pink, etc. you make a paw print wristlet? Um, so I'm getting ready to go on vacation. Um, I don't have any more of that material to make a, a wristlet. And I'm not going to be order, ordering any more fabric before I leave on my vacation. I get back around the end of July. So the soonest I'll get new fabric in is going to be August. Alright, I'm cutting off those extra bits. And then we're going to do a top stitch on the bottom. Thanks, Shayna. Okay, so the bottom is attached. And then now we're going to go ahead and do a top stitch over here, just like we did up here. And then there's really only a couple more steps to this bag. Yeah, this bag is called the Big B, which is this style right here. All right, so now we're going to sew our sides up. What I do is I match up where the black starts on both sides. It should, if my seam allowance was right on both panels, then it should line up perfectly. But I always line those two up just because you don't want those like lopsided. One side, let me grab some more clips. I love the butterfly effects. Alright, we're going to do the same thing over here. One more clip. And then we'll sew those down. Are you running any more patterns? So I'm going on vacation and I'm going to try to do some pattern writing then. It's just really hard because a lot of people want stuff that's sold out to be restocked. Some people want new patterns. Some people want custom orders. Some people want um, new prints. So I know I can't make everybody happy, but I'm going to try to do like a little bit of each. That way I don't get overwhelmed and, you know, you guys get what you want. Okay, the next step is to sew the bottom together. On your vacation, are you coming to the States? It's just me going. Um, I'm going to Tennessee. My man's not coming with me. Alright, so I'm just clipping the side to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oh, thank you. And I'm opening up this side seam right here. So that way when I sew, um, it's going to be sewn flat down. And you won't have, you know, a little poke on the bottom. This is called the Big B. It's my own personal pattern. It's this bag right here. Alright, so our exterior is all sewn up. I'm going to go ahead and open up my sides. Well, I'll do that later. 
So that is going to be our exterior bag. And if you remember, I said this is going to be sewn inside out. So what we're going to do is turn this right side out, tuck it in here, and then we're going to sew those two together. Thanks. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Waiting for a horse wallet. Yeah, I won't get any more new fabric until like August. Okay, so we're going to tuck our interior and our exterior to sew those together. So I'm going to start by lining up my sides. And then I'm going to just clip all the way around. What I need to do is make sure, okay, my zipper pocket is open. We're going to turn this right side out through that zipper pocket. All right, sides are together. Now we're just going to start clipping it around. I need to make sure that my metal is pointing downward so I don't accidentally hit that with my sewing needle. See my music from that wallet? I love it. Thanks. I'm so happy you like it. A lot of fabric to birth. Yes, this is a big one. A nice size tote bag. Alright, couple more clips. Grab some water. Quite easy to sew. A lot of the other materials. Oh! I would say easier. It's different. But I don't know if I would say that the faux leather is easier to sew with than cotton material. I mean, I sew with both of them. My interior is cotton. Alright. Scoot up. Line those two up. And then. And then as I'm sewing, I'm just going to turn the material. Sure my side seams are open so we sew those down flat and then just keep going oh love my paw print person of all I just ordered match oh nice <clears throat> the paw print is a really cute pattern turn my iron on give it a nice little press get the wrinkles out once you turn it right side out okay so the inside and the outside are now sewn together we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out through this pocket so i'm going to come in here wrap the bottom i start with the bottom of the outside push in those corners and then pull that through what material do you use for your template for your patterns? I use um, cutting board material. It's a plastic cutting board material I've gotten from the dollar store. Kind of harder to sew with the leather. Um, I mean, I would say yeah, it's a little bit more challenging than just regular cotton. The leather is. All right, so let me straighten everything out. I'm going to hit that with the iron, which is going to get that little wrinkle out right there. I'm not going to hit this with the iron. I'm going to put it down on the inside, hit it with some steam. All right. What I'm going to do first is a top stitch around the outside. Champion, 
Can you make your own patterns? Yes. Some of them I do. Just making sure everything is nice and lined up, clipping them down because I'm going to do a top stitch around the top of the bag. And what that's going to do is secure these two pieces together and it's just a really nice finishing touch. This is awesome. I tried once. That was enough. I mean, if it's something that you really want to do, I would say go for it again. The first couple times I've made bags, I cried myself to sleep. It's not for the faint of heart, but I'm telling you, just practice and practice. If it's something you want to do, if it's not, just practice. Do you add anything on the bottom to make it sturdy when it's floor standing? Yeah, I use Peltex. I'm going to make clear bags on that side. Um, I mean, I could. Yeah. Alright, couple more clips. And we'll top stitch. So our zipper pocket shut. Put the iron on the inside, which will get the wrinkle out of the bottom, and then add our shoulder straps, and then the bag is done. I'm going to top stitch on a five and a half. If it was me, I sew it all the way. Same thing. I'm going to, as I'm sewing, turn my bag. I want to make sure that my um, hardware is down so I don't hit it. When I lift it up to look underneath it, I'm just making sure that my um, hardware is down. Alright. So that is the top stitching that we just did all the way around. That's the back. And then now what we're going to do, get these um, clips out of here. We're going to sew our zipper pocket shut. This is what we turn the bag right side out from. And then we're going to iron it. is the inside of our bag. Like I said, it's a nice size bag. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the iron on the inside, hit it with just a little steam. And that is going to get out. We'll hit it one more time. The 
bottom. And then now all we have to do is attach these shoulder straps, which was the first thing that we sewed. And it is all done. I'm gonna clip them on first, make sure that they're nice and even, and then I'm going to secure them with some rivets. I use medium double cap rivets. And I get mine from Tandy Leather. So, um, attach that. come up just a touch. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure those with some rivets. I want this part. So when I'm done, what time is it? 12.45? Um, at one o'clock I have something to do, but in a couple of hours I'll go ahead and take some photos and then upload it to my website. I have two of these. So I'd say like give me like three or four hours and it should be available on my website. So that is a rivet. I'm just going to poke out the holes, attach the rivets, and then I'm going to set them with my rivet press. Hi Trisha. I haven't seen you in a while. How long since you made this one because you remember perfectly every step. I made one yesterday. I made this bag right here yesterday. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's a really straightforward pattern. It's not really hard to mess up. That's why I want to put it on paper and get it out to you guys. I return major business. What's up? This is a Juki 1181. All right, one more, and then I'm going to set it, and she is all done. Thanks, Susan. All right, let me grab my rivet press, clean this up. And I'll stand up and show you guys, like, literally, literally, how spacious this bag is. I mean, you saw I fit that whole iron on the inside. Okay. And then it has the um, magnetic clasp closure. Grab some water. Sure. <clears throat> so here is the bag. It is a nice size bag. I'm 5'4. So it has a quick reach. All you have to do is take that off. It's a really strong magnetic snap. And then you have the slip pocket on one side and then the zipper pocket on the other side. But it is a nice size bag. I'm probably going to make myself one for my trip. I normally take a Colette, which is this style. I can fit a lot of stuff in there, but I like this for the quick reach, so I'm probably going to make myself one. Not Butterfly. I have some other prints that I can choose from. Thanks, Doreen. Thanks, Vanita. Thanks, Lily. Do you have any with the center divider? I don't. Nope. Can I see the purse that has the chicken? Yeah, of course. Yep, I just made this. Let me grab the chicken. 
This is kind of like a farm, chicken farm print. This one is on my website, but it has chickens and roosters. It's the exact same thing on the back. It just doesn't have the name tag. It has the um, closure. And then the same thing. You got a slip pocket and then you have a zipper pocket. It's a nice size bag. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got like 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to, to take some photos and um, upload this bag in the next, I don't know. I don't wanna give you a time and then not be there. I, I'm hoping it should be there within the next couple hours. The um, measurement is on my website. So it is, the bottom is obvious, the, the top is a little bit wider um, than the bottom. It's a little narrower. So the bottom is, 11 and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall. The top I want to say is 14 and a, yeah, 14 and a half. So it's 14 and a half, 11 and a half, and then 11, and then the bottom is four inches deep. So what I say, 14 and a half, 11 and a half, 11, and then four. Um, you can't buy from Vietnam. I only ship to the United States. Sorry. Um, so next week, let's talk. Those who have followed me know that I've been gone for a little while. I've been trying to restock a lot of stuff. I restocked a lot of my wallets. Um, what else did I restock? This bag sold out the last time I made it, the owl bag, so I made that. I restocked a lot of my notebook covers, which are these right here. I got a lot of new prints, got horses. I redid the owls, but those sold out. Um, the We The People has been updated. So I've updated a lot of stuff. Um, but next week I'm going to try to go live. My goal is to try to go live at least every day next week because I only have like a week and a half before my vacation starts. So if you don't follow me, follow me here. And then there's the bell on my TikTok profile. You can click on that to get notifications whenever I go live. What I've also been doing is whenever I restock something or add something new to the website, like this horse bag is a new print that I just added this week. Um, I'm updating my Facebook page, my Facebook group page. So not my business page, my group page. So if you want to follow me there to see when things have been updated or when there are new prints, you can do that. Um, I've been trying to do Instagram. I'm just not really that good at keeping up with Instagram. But my goal next week is to be on TikTok Live at least once every day next week. Uh, can you see what, Joanne? Where are you going on your vacation? Tennessee. Thanks, Cassie. Oh, the horse? Yeah, of course. Of course. I have this um, before I got on live, so it may have changed. Um, I have this in a Lola, and then I had it in a notebook cover, and then I have a wristlet. The wristlet is right here. And then I got some horse fabric for the inside. So there's more horses, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the inside. <clears throat> One sold yesterday, and this was my last one. And then, of course, there's a zipper pocket, which is lined with the same material. So when I got on, I had this. I had the wristlet, one wristlet, and one notebook left. Isn't it so pretty? Do you know I'm going to tell you guys something that, no, I'm not going to say. <clears throat> so this is the last one that I have. All right, let me jump off of here so I can take some photos, hopefully upload them of that butterfly bag, and then I have to run downstairs. All right, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.